What's going on, everybody? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another Diecast review. And this is actually going to be one of the most recent pickups I got from 07 Racing Collectibles in my live Mega Diecast haul video. And this one definitely caught me, that uh, surprised me. I didn't think I was going to actually find uh, this manufacturer, uh, if, 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 uh, this manufacturer, guys, in 2007, because this was actually their debut year. So this will give you a nice little hint of what car I'm going to be talking about. Today, we're going to talk about good old DJ, guys. We got Dale Jarrett's 2007 UPS Kentucky. Kentucky Derby Toyota Camry for Michael Waltrip Racing. Oh, yes. Good old Mikey. Oh, boy. We got to talk about DJ and Mikey in this review. But this is a cool die cast, guys. Really cool. Very unique. Especially coming from a guy who was actually born in the state of Kentucky. Yeah, a little fun facts about that. I know my good buddy Lil Wrangler also uh, lives in Kentucky. So, how about that? Kentucky gang is, is out rolling today. <laughs> but really cool die cast, guys. I'm looking forward to go ahead and review this, guys. Uh, the packaging is pretty cool, but not as cool as the 2009 boxes. But still has some nice customization to it. Um... But yeah, let's go and crack this sucker open. Let's take a close look at the Dale Jarrett 2007 UPS Kentucky Derby car. Alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box, and man, this is a really cool looking diecast. And more importantly, guys, I mean, how about these 2007 Toyota Camry molds, guys? I mean, th these things look really sleek. I mean, uh, my God, I mean, these things. I mean, I, just when you thought you loved the Gen 4 cars enough, guys, this is the only time we had. Oh, Christ, that Toyota logo. Oh, no. Oh, why you got to do this to me, man? I mean, this car was not made by Lionel, but it was actually made by Motorsports Authentics. Oh, man. Oh, no. That sucks, man. That really sucks because I really do like this diecast. Uh, why am I always the guy? Why am I always the freaking Joe Schmo that has stuff like that? Look at that, guys. This thing literally looks like a freaking sideways mustache. Like, it's like someone put a mustache on someone's face and they don't know how to freaking line it up properly. Oh, man. That's unfortunate because, man, I... Oh, especially when I showed you guys at the top of this. I mean, goodness gracious, that thing is slanted like... Slanted like hell, dude. And it's got a working suspension, too. Well, hopefully that's going to be the only screw up we got, guys. But... Well, I was trying to say before that little distraction out of the way. Can't blame Lionel on that one. Um, this is a cool looking diecast, guys. Um, very unique. I mean, uh, for any of you guys who are a big fan of the Kentucky Derby, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, NASCAR uh, has had, you know, some collaborations with the Kentucky Derby. I understand NBC did a collaboration with them with Rutledge Wood and Dale Jr. Oh, boy. Who can't forget Rutledge Wood? <laughs> oh, gotta love that freaking... Uh, beard uh, beard looking motherfucker <laughs> but this is a cool looking die cast guys um i i i personally i what like i think dale jared drove the uh, duck derby car once in 2007 i mean first of all i can't really say too much about dale june child seven season because yeah it was quite bad he he what like he he had like eight dnfs and what like missed 12 races because he, he couldn't qualify on time i mean this guy is a past champion and he couldn't even qualify i mean i'll give him credit you know it was michael walter racing's first year with the 44 car and i think their first year overall as a team from what i know but just man dude dale jared definitely was past his prime i think well like because kind of ironic that he ran this car at talladega and had an engine issue and literally we know that what like two years before he ran this car his last and final win which is like his 31st win i think if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong was at talladega so yeah i think after 2005 i think that's when dale jarrett really started hitting the prime especially once uh shit i think it was i think he was in his 50s dude in, in his 50s i think when he ran in 07 i mean so yeah dale jarrett wasn't really in his pr it was definitely not running the best he has i mean he was definitely past his prime when he joined michael walter racing which is unfortunate because i really want i think dale jarrett probably still if he still stayed with robert yates guys in the 88 ups car he probably could have got one more win or so i could definitely see it i mean he had probably that little bit spark of him left but you definitely tell he was on his way out door to retirement very soon i mean with with this child seven season guys i think he was better off driving the freaking ups truck than to drive this car because i mean for a car that was trying to run full time and he couldn't even qualify for 12 races, just to go show you, man. And my God, and I absolutely missed the, I absolutely missed, you know, qualifying and how qualifying was set up. I mean, with, I, I missed the NQs, man. I, that's why I can't stand the charter system because it just ruined, you know, the, it just ruined that, that experience with, you know, uh, 
people not qualifying on time. And this guy is a past champion. And he couldn't even make it in. You know, there was no champions provisionals for Dale Jarrett, ironically. Um, I don't know when that was implemented, but yeah. But yeah, he drove this car, like I said, at Talladega. And I believe he drove it again in 2008 at some other race. But personally, in my opinion, guys, um, I think I like this paint team a lot more than this 2008 one. Don't get me wrong, the 2008 one doesn't look bad. It has a lot more brown to it. But I really like the nice zigzag stripes we've got right here. I mean, uh, definitely is cool. I mean, definitely uh, it just feels very retro -y, especially with Dale Jarrett driving the iconic UPS 88 um, car and truck. I mean, um, yeah, so you got the UPS logo, Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs, May 5th, 2007. Holy fuck, that is old. I think I was actually in Kentucky during that time, I think, in 07. I believe I was. So, a little fun fact right there. And they aren't kidding when you're in Kentucky. Kentucky Derby is a big thing. Oh, yes. It is just as big. It's like how, you know, if you go to Indiana, everyone talks about the Indy 500. That's how it is with the Kentucky Derby. I mean, if you live in Kentucky and you don't hear one person about one person talk about the Kentucky Derby, something's probably wrong with you. Or you live under a rock. <laughs> and I could be wrong. Little Wrangler, feel free to back me up on that. Because <laughs> you do reside in Kentucky. But, um... Yeah, I do like this a lot. The Dayglo, uh, we got even like the Dayglo orange, man. I mean, this orange looks a lot darker on camera, but it's Dayglo, man. It's like a nice light Dayglo orange. Not as bright and vibrant, but it's very uh, peachy, if I had to say. Like a very peachy orange. And I really do like the you know, this, nice, this nice uh, gradient we got in the background. And you see the nice, um, nice uh, yellow... Um, I'm trying to say side skirts, but those are roof rails, Brian. Huh, I don't know terminology today. But we got the jockey and the horses. Uh, I don't know any of these uh, horses. By, but that is pretty cool that we're able to you know, represent some of them on the back bumper. Um, there's a, And there's the uh, logo right there for the 133rd running of the Kentucky Derby. But we comment below if any of you guys have watched the Kentucky Derby. And I believe that's a different jockey and a horse right there. And we got uh, the, I believe that's the uh, series logo right there for um, for whatever the, the series is. Uh, I don't even know what that says. Um, like, I don't really watch horse racing, so I don't really know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you guys are a big fan of, of the Kentucky Derby, guys, um, I would recommend picking this car up because it's a nice little tribute scheme to it, guys. That, that, that was pretty cool. They were able to do this. Like I said, they did it with two years with Dale Jarrett. Um, I think, uh, what, they also sponsored, I think, Sterling Marlin, I think, in the early 2000s. And I believe Jeremy Mayfield as well. Um, I believe that's it. But I think everyone mostly remembers the Kentucky Derby car from Dale Jarrett's uh, 2007 and 2008 car. But feel free to comment below if you guys have any memories to share about the Kentucky Derby or anything in between on this diecast. Because um, besides that really wacky front end job, I'm really glad I picked this one up. This one looks pretty cool. And I'm glad I have this in my collection. And I'm hoping we can find more Toyota diecasts from 2007. Because, man, I just these 2007 diecasts, man, are something else. Um, they probably don't have the best box design. But in terms of, like, the best diecast uh, mold, goodness gracious, these things just rock. I mean, Gen 4 cars, whoo, you got to love them. That was That's what got me into NASCAR, the Gen 4. And, heck, can't say any better than that. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thanks for watching this Diecast view of the Dale Jarrett 2007 UPS Kentucky Derby on uh, Toyota Camry for uh, Michael Walter Racing. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB. See you guys next time on another Diecast view. And, uh, yeah, get your jockeys on and rattle up. And, yeah, let's get some horse racing going.